Welcome to the Master of Medicine Pharmaceutical Medical Device Development Degree. My name is Professor Paul Yang and I'm a professor in the School of Medicine at the University of Sydney. During this short presentation, I'm going to give you an overview of the Master of Medicine Pharmaceutical Medical Device Development Degree, or PharmDev for short, in terms of its conception, implementation, mode of delivery, how it fits in with your future career plans, and of course, where you can find more information. Before I start, however, I'd like to give you a little bit of a background about the School of Medicine and Sydney Medical School in terms of professional vocational education and graduate studies. Sydney Medical School has a 160-year pedigree of training medical and non-medical students. We train doctors with our renowned medical MD programme and have an additional 28 postgraduate programmes that are available to both medical and non-medical students. We are considered a leader in the region, we are number one in Australia, we are 23rd in the Times Higher Education rankings, and in terms of the ERA research assessment exercise, we are top rated in public health and also health services. As discussed, we have a track record in medical education training. We are the biggest provider of postgraduate vocation training in Australia, and in terms of this farm dev degree here, we are absolutely perfectly placed to be able to deliver highly qualified professionals who can enter the, enter the pharmaceutical and regulatory sector. We have a close working relationship with the Therapeutics Good Administration. We are well placed because we work with the pharmaceutical sector at multiple levels. And we have very strong disciplines such as pharmacology, biomedical engineering and the NHMRC Clinical Trial Centre. So what is the Master of Medicine from Dev? and how does it meet an unmet need by the pharmaceutical industry? Well, first of all, we need to really look at education in Australia. Education in Australia is exceptional. Our universities, of which the University of Sydney is one, provide high quality tertiary education. And we do this through a well-defined framework. Our bachelor degree provides generic skill sets within a field related knowledge and our students exit with great theoretical and technical knowledge to enter a whole range of sectors. However, our graduate and postgraduate degrees don't quite meet the requirements of the pharmaceutical sector. And to understand why, we really need to look at the pharmaceutical sector in more detail. The pharmaceutical sector is bigger than you think. There's 16,000 people in manufacturing alone. Many, many more in startups small medium enterprises, large pharma and of course regulatory. The career paths uh, people take within the industry are extremely varied. We have people working in research and development for example. We have people who are medical science liaisons, regulatory affairs personnel, clinical trials coordinators, people who work for the TGA, people who are advisors and people who are reviewers. With such a diverse career path, what we really need is one degree which is targeted to people wanting to enter, enter this specific sector. And we really need this to be a vocational and professional degree. In a recent survey, the sector believed overwhelmingly that further investment in compliance by regulation of new drugs and therapies is going to be required. The provision of staff who already have the background knowledge and skills to be able to do this would be essential. And thus, we have the potential here to create a degree which is targeted specifically to the sector. And so we have an industry challenge. While universities produce highly qualified graduates, the knowledge underpinning the manufacture, registration and distribution of pharmaceuticals in Australia and worldwide is unmet. And this posed a series of questions and a series of answers. The first question is, what if we had a professional degree which gave graduate students the exact knowledge required for a career within the pharmaceutical sector? Second question, what if it was delivered by a reputable institution with a long history of educating medical professionals? What if it was developed and implemented by thought leaders in the field, by people already in the sector? Of course, it would have to be a higher degree. 
and give both essential knowledge and problem solving skills. And most importantly, it would have to be dynamic, up to date, innovative and agile. Lastly, it would have to be delivered in a flexible manner so that people already in the sector could enrol and participate remotely while making graduate students market ready. So with that, welcome to the Master of Medicine Farm Dev. The Master of Medicine and Master of Science in Medicine Farm Dev degrees are designed to provide advanced and integrated understanding of a complex body of knowledge specifically related to the design, regulation and distribution of pharmaceutical drugs and devices in Australia and globally. The degree can be taken at many levels. Each unit of study is six credit points and as you can see you can enrol in the graduate certificate, the graduate diploma, the master or the advanced degree. The coordinators for this degree are myself, Professor Daniela Train and Dr. Kweezing Ong in the School of Medical Sciences. However, in addition to the coordinators, it is taught by some of the leaders in the field. Importantly, this degree has been conceived, developed and is continuously updated by thought leaders in the field. And in order to do this, we have established an advisory committee. And this advisory committee includes regulatory bodies such as the TGA, industry bodies such as ARCS, MTAA, scientific bodies such as the RACI, and of course, numerous pharmaceutical companies. These include startup companies, small and medium enterprises, and of course, large pharmaceutical companies. So how is the Master of Medicine Farm Dev degree delivered? We realise that our target audience may already be working in the pharmaceutical industry, or maybe even in another sector, and wish to upskill. So we decided early on that the degree had to be online, and it had to be delivered in a way which was innovative and exciting. And you would do all this through an innovative content delivery system. Importantly, We've designed the degree so that you will learn through bite-sized um, podcasts and videos. Experts in the field have prepared podcasts and interviews which will engage you. You will need to solve real problems to, and find real solutions that are specific to the field. Also there will be case studies which are assessed and are relative to problems that are encountered by the pharmaceutical and regulatory industry on a daily basis. Obviously, student engagement is important and there are discussion boards. We always provide continuous feedback. In terms of assessment, as I've already mentioned, there are case studies and real problems and real solutions. This will be done through online quizzes that are embedded seamlessly into the online content delivery solution. Lastly, there are project streams and a capstone experience to this degree. So finally, let's look at some example units of study. This is an overview of a number of the units of study that you can take to undertake the degree. Uh, introduction to clinical epidemiology, pharmaceutical med medical device development, industrial therapeutics, drugs and devices, R&D to registration and so on. We'll just have a quick look at two of those and you can find a lot more information about each unit of study on the course webpage. So let's have a look at the first unit of study. So drugs and devices are indeed to, are indeed to registration as a six credit point unit that you will undertake as part of this degree. And as you can see, this unit is broken down into four broad sections, which give an, an umbrella overview of how the regulatory system works. And those four sections are the path to registration, are indeed dossier documentation and manufacturing, registration of device, and drugs, pharmacokinetics and dynamics, and post-registration obligations and pharmacovigilance. And as you can see, each of those units is then subsequently broken down into specialist areas. At the conclusion of this degree, you will have an extensive knowledge of how the regulatory process works uh, within Australia and globally. 
Another example of a core unit of study, modern therapeutics and medical devices. This focuses on uh, the regulatory processes and the formulation and device processes that are required to produce a reliable product for the market. So in this unit, we're again, we've broken down into four specific areas. These are biologicals and personalized medicine, cell-based products, medical devices, and classical formulation and prescription medicines. Again, this unit of study really focus, focuses on the requirements uh, and the processes that are involved in getting an idea from an R&D stage through to a, an actual physically marketed and registered product in Australia and globally. So in conclusion, the Master of Medicine Farm Dev degree has been designed by thought leaders within the field to provide the sector with professionals who have the skills required for the manufacture, registration and distribution of pharmaceutical drugs and devices within Australia and globally. The degree is open to medical graduates, science graduates and engineering graduates. If you'd like to find more information, you can click the link that's associated with this presentation, contact myself or my colleagues, and we look forward to seeing you to take the next step in your career.